My name is Father Rafiq Gresh. I am coming uh, from Egypt uh, and a priest in, uh, in the Catholic Melkite Byzantine uh, Church in Cairo. And I'm also the director of the press office of the Catholic Church in Egypt, the spokesman if you want. It was very interesting because I implemented Alpha just shortly before coming here. To, uh, and we are now in, uh, in the fifth session there. And I see how uh, it, it is working. I see the, uh, the work of God in these people who are coming. Although that we have a different experience than you in Europe. I mean, uh, the people, uh, the Christians in Egypt, they already belong to the church. They already believe in Jesus Christ, the risen God. And uh, they try to behave as Christians. Uh, so what we are doing, we are adapting Alpha, to, especially to the young people who are uh, 24, 25, 27 extra, uh, because it's a new uh, way to, to, uh, to, to present Jesus Christ, and it's a catechism anyway. And uh, the way they, they live together, they, uh, the community, the belonging to each other, uh, it encourages them to come each week. And, uh, and share the food and share the word of God uh, together. And I, in, in Egypt, there is 143 uh, Alpha groups, 140 in the Anglican Church and three in the Catholic Church. And I think it is going to grow more and more. As I said uh, previously, the they are already Christians, are already believers. But uh, they are believers because they inherited their faith from their parents and grandparents. And, uh, they, uh, and maybe they were taught uh, catechism in school, especially in the Catholic schools and in the church. But, you know, the young people be after university or during university and after, after the post-university, this is a period where they, they study very hard and uh, they forget maybe their beliefs uh, or uh, they don't go to church often, etc. So it's a revival to their faith to come back to the church and have Alpha and, uh, and, they are, uh, and we regain them as members, active members in the community.